Hello, my name is Joel Labava, and I am the Franchise King. I wanted to talk to you today about something that you are probably tempted to do when you first discover a franchise that you are really, really interested in and, and very passionate about. I want to tell you something that is so important in the beginning stages of your franchise exploration that you, you just have to listen, all right? As tempting as it is, please, I beg of you, please do not go in and visit your local franchise. You know, the one that you're really interested in. Don't visit the local franchise owner too early in the process. Here's why. You're going to freak the guy out. Well, you'll, or freak the lady out. As smart as you are, and as cool and calm and collected as you think you're going to be, when you go into someone's franchise store and try to act cool and start to ask some questions like, so, uh, yes, I like to order uh, uh, that, uh, that frozen yogurt scoop there and with the nuts, and that's fine, but I have a couple of questions for you. So uh, what do you think of this franchise that you own? How long have you owned it? What, uh, do you think that there's room for a few more franchises? Eh, warning, warning, warning. Really? Please. The franchisee that you're talking to wasn't born like yesterday or the day before. He or she probably is going to eventually, maybe after about 20 seconds, figure out that you might be interested in buying a franchise of the company that he uh, owns. Uh, you know, in other words, I don't know if he's really going to be very helpful when it comes to answering questions about the franchise once he starts to get the feeling that you might want to buy one and it might be uh, opening about two miles away or less, depending on the territory uh, uh, stipulations. So, you know, I mean, think about it. Think if you were the franchisee and, and uh, a couple walks in and starts, you know, quizzing you about your business. I think your little antennae uh, might go up and you might um, all of a sudden clam up. So uh, it might not make sense now if you're if you really haven't started looking for a franchise yet. But as much as you want to, as excited as you are about a specific franchise and, and, and one that there just happens to be one in town, don't pay a visit to that franchise owner until you know a lot more about the franchise, until you're further down the path, until, until you have some really intelligent questions that you want to ask. Because you don't want to freak this franchise owner out and, and, and get him all paranoid about another franchise possibly opening up near him. What you want to do is approach it as a partnership eventually. Maybe you could do some co-op advertising with this person. But the wrong way to do it is to, two days after you find the franchise that you think is going to be the one, is to pay a visit and start quizzing the franchise owner. It's, it's probably not going to go well, as slick as you may think you are. It's just a nice little gentle tip from the franchise king, Joel Ababa. Once again, do not pay a visit to your local franchisee as you're starting to learn about the opportunity because it's just, it's just not going to go well. It's just not going to go well as slick as you think you are. One more thing. You know, I get, I get questions constantly sent to me about this crown. And, and the, the most common question is, Joel, why don't you ever wear the crown if you're the franchise king? Well, I'm going to finally answer that question for you right here today. Here's why. Questions? Now, I know, maybe it's the crown. Maybe I could use a better crown that would, you know, fit a little better. I don't know, does that fit better or, you know? Um, so if you want to send me a crown that you think will be a better fit for me, that I could actually wear, yeah, I'll think about it. I might have to convince my family uh, that um, I really am serious about uh, crowns and stuff. Anyway, thanks for listening. I am the Franchise King, Joel LaBava.